from a very early age. I was always the kid poking at the bonfire when we were camping. What's with women and fire? In our line of work, space, we have come to meet many women interested in fire, whether they are students, entrepreneurs, researchers, engineers, or even astronauts. They all had the spark. How did you get interested in fire? I had this really cool professor who studied fire, and I did some combustion experiments in microgravity, which got me interested in fire and space. I was first interested in fire when the Fort McMurray wildfires occurred in 2016. Back in 2019, I was actually physically in Australia just before the big wildfire season. And it made me realize how important addressing wildfire can be in order to save lives, infrastructure, and biodiversity. What is the most fascinating thing about fire? In Canada, there's more than 7,000 fires every year. And 3% of these fires are actually accountable for almost 97% of all the area burned. What types of problems do you solve? Real world science that supports practical use that can make people more safe from fire or make a fire manager's job easier, more efficient. We have our images on our satellites which look down from space to Earth to look at the different vegetation areas and how the reflectance changes before and after the fire. Right now, the time between the acquisition of information on fire and the time that we actually have access to that information, there's a little delay. So we work on shortening that delay to address the fires more quickly and prevent them from getting bigger. What do you like the most about your work? Definitely working on real world problems. It's really valuable and I can concretely see the impact of my work. One of the most interesting things is being able to go out to the field and actually burn and see how fire behaves. Working on space solutions is always working on something new. It requires a lot of creativity.